Hey everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video we're going to take a look at the different types that exist in TypeScript and how you can use them in your project. Okay, so here I am in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to show you all the types that exist in TypeScript. Now I've created this simple file here with some comments to guide us through the types that exist. So the most basic type that exists in TypeScript is the Boolean. So let's say I want to create a variable that uh, signifies if this video is done already. So I'm going to say is this video done and I'm going to say it is of type Boolean and now I can define true or false. Now in this case the video isn't over yet. Next up are numbers. To define a number, you again create a variable, for example, my number, and you just say that this is of type number. And now you can say my number equals four, for example. Up next is a string or just a piece of text. So I can create a variable that says my name, and I can say this is of type string, and then type in my name. Now TypeScript has a really cool feature for working with strings and it's called template strings. So let me show you an example. Let's say I want to greet myself. I'm going to create a variable called greeting, which is of type string. And I'm going to say this equals hello comma and then I want to display my name, the variable that I created here. Now this is the traditional way that you append one string to the other. But in TypeScript you can use template strings, which are really cool. So now I can say let greeting to is also of type string, but this time I'm not going to use the quotes, I'm going to use this little character, and I'm going to say hello, comma, then type a dollar, and then open brackets, my name. Now both of these strings will have the same value, uh, but I prefer to use template strings if I'm adding a lot of strings together. Let's now take a look at arrays. Let's say we want to create an array with the count to four. So I'm going to say let count, equals one, two, three, four. Now there are two ways that I can say that this count variable is an array of numbers. The first way is I can say this is of type number and then I can use these brackets to signify that it's an array of numbers. Now the other way I can do is, is I can say that count is of type array and this array stores numbers. Now of course I could replace number with string or boolean or another type that I want. Next up is the any type. Let's say that in your JavaScript code, you have a variable that changes at runtime. And sometimes it could be a string, sometimes it can be a number, sometimes it could be a Boolean, it could be whatever. So let me define a variable right now. Let's say that anything equals four. So right now it's a number. And let's say a bit later, it becomes some text. And even later, it becomes boolean false. Now notice that TypeScript says that I've made an error here and if I hover over it this it says that some text is not assignable to, to type number. Now in this case I didn't say to TypeScript that anything is a number instead it inferred the type from the default value. So I give anything the default value of 4 and TypeScript now infers that anything is of type number. Now this is a nice feature in TypeScript that can help you discover some errors. But in this case, anything really can be anything. It can be a string, a number, a boolean, whatever. So all I have to do is say that this is of type any, and now I can give this variable any type. I can give it a string, a number, a boolean, an array, whatever. Now watch out if you use the any type. You can easily use this everywhere in your existing JavaScript code but if you do that, you will miss out on the type checking feature of TypeScript. So try to use the correct types as much as possible. Next up is returning nothing. Let's say we have a greeter function and this function takes a parameter uh, name, which is of type string. And this function just logs hello comma and then the name to the console. Now in this case, the function doesn't return anything. The function doesn't say return hello name. No, the function just writes something to the log. So to signify this, let me remove the return. You can use the type void. 
Here you'll say that function greeter takes a parameter name of type string and that function returns nothing. It just writes something to the console, but it doesn't give you anything back. Now the final type that exists in TypeScript is enum. Let's say that we want to program a little video game and that that video game is controlled by a joystick. Now the joystick can signify four different directions. It can either be up, down, left, or right. So I can say let joystick status equals one, for example. And then in my code, I could say if the joystick status equals one, then we move the player to the left. But as you can see, this code gets kind of hard to read. I mean, in this case, what is one? Is one left? Okay, it's kind of an invisible rule. It's something that I've decided, but is not really written down. Well, enums are perfect for this. So to use an enum, we just say enum, then I can say directions. Let's say I want to make an enum with all the possible directions. And then I can just start giving these directions names. So I can say up, down, left, and right. And that's my enum. Now in the background, TypeScript has actually compiled it down to a simple array, which stores the numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. But in my code, I can use the names, I can use up, down, left, and right. So now I can say, if joystick status equals direction dot, and then I get autocomplete direction dot left, then we move the player to the left. So that was it for this video. Now, sometimes these types aren't enough. So in the next video, I'll show you how you can kind of create your own types by defining interfaces. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.